Welcome to season six of the Trini Takeover Show. Today, we're going to meet Claudia. She is a fashion virgin. She's 22. She's left university, she's out of her job, but she's experienced what I call COVID fashion because she's been at home and therefore that sociability, that going out, that discovering fashion, that finding your style has been slightly limited. And I feel like a lot of the time I dress like a 14 year old boy and I'd like to sort of look more grown up. Claudia has the opportunity today for the first time to work out who does she want to be? Let's meet Claudia. Hello. Hi, Claudia. Hi, How are you? Is it Claudia or Claudia? Claudia. I'm excited by today because mm -hmm. I called you a fashion virgin. <laughs> okay. Right. Do you think that's right as a description? Yeah. Those years of 18, 19, 20, mm -hmm. I was out and about going around with friends, going down the King's Road, looking at other people's sense of style, thinking, what do I want? But to me at that time, were you sitting at home with co uh, during COVID years? So I was doing nothing, like sat at home in my pajamas. Yeah. For two years? For two years. Yeah, that's rubbish. Yeah. Do you think about what you're going to wear? Sometimes, like if there's an occasion or if I'm excited for something, like I'll plan an outfit. All right. Um, but mostly no. Mostly I just wake up, what's clean, what smells all right. You put it, put it on. on. Who do you look at and think, there's something I really love about that? I think Bella Hadid. I really like you her. You like Bella Hadid. Yeah, so what do you like not, about what she does? The sort of way the clothes hang on her. Mm -hmm. I like that she sort of has a bit of tummy out at times. Yeah. I like that it's sort of slouchy, but but structured. But structured. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. That's She's true. always block colours. Mm -hmm. um, she always does kind of slightly articulated tailoring with something that's really schlompy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think that you identify with the schlompiness. Yeah. And the articulated tailoring, maybe you look up and think that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I would like that. When I look at you, I think already I know exactly what style it is that I would put you in okay. and the ultimate look of what it should be. But I think a part of the journey of challenging ourselves is really to step out very far away from our comfort zone yes. and just see how clothes make you feel because they're not about how we look, you know, because if we feel amazing in them, we project something. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, dressing should be about who do you want to project. The challenge for us today is that you're going to love something enough to never want to look back. Here we are, the five minute challenge. So Claudia, you have got to find four things in five minutes. The first one is your guilty pleasure, what you continuously buy. Your secret crush, something you wouldn't expect that I would think you would love. Your thing that you would find the scariest for me to put you in. Okay. And finally, the most fashionable thing this summer for anyone to buy. Let's see how well you know fashion. See you in five minutes. See you in five. A summer trend, which is metallics and sheer. You can layer, it's everything. It's the layering, it's the metallic, it's the sheer. Summer trend. Now, let's do guilty pleasure. See what I can do. I really don't like that. Guilty pleasure. It's like another sweatpant, I'm going to say. Oh, those culottes. They terrify me. I really don't know how I feel about crop trousers at all. That's kind of cool. That could be a secret crush. So I, I quite like this. I think this is something that would be quite me. I think she could be very scared of that. Another scary piece for me, for sure. The gold Zara jean. This is really scary. This is a trend. Actually, maybe I'm terrified of that. Okay, for me, this would be really scary to wear. Things like this, that obsessive compulsive behavior in a shop is when you should step away. So this for me would be my secret crush. Like, I think it's cool. This, I think this is the front. This is the front here. See, it's confusing. So many options and so versatile. <laughs> I'll just take them off for Lila. Okay, what have I, you uh, found? This is my secret crush. I can't imagine myself looking good in it, but I like it. Which category is that? I really don't like it. The color is really odd. I know I'm wearing brown, but yeah. this is a really kind of swampy brown. It's weird. Yeah. This whole situation, I don't know what's going on. I just can't see it. Vile. So this is a co-ord. This is the height of fashion. Well, in five minutes. <laughs> I think what's interesting is the shape of the trouser is really fashionable right now. Wide legs. Like yeah, I like this. Guilty pleasure. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing this with this. Yeah, it could work. I am really impressed by what you chose. And okay. we both really dislike the same thing. I really don't like that, yeah. Taste. Okay, so I've chosen a lot of things and I've put them in the change room, so let's go and start. Claudia, all right. Hello. So, okay, now, elements of metallic, mm -hmm. long coat, floppy trousers. It's schlumpy, 
Yeah. Does this word schlumpy mean something to you? Yeah, for yeah, sure. It does. Okay, good. Because it's I didn't know if it's a word I'd made up or real I one. I think you might have right. it. I don't sense. know if you're silver or gold, which is interesting. I think you might be a bit more gold than silver. The trouser was longer like that. I'm just going to nearly show your knickers. You yeah. kind of then it's in a way we want that trouser to be that long, like my Serena boots that you like. So it's all about looking at proportion. If this was that, all right, as a shape, this is just elements put together that to me don't go together. Yeah. So much, but it gives us an idea, but it, it's messy. I do really like this jacket a the lot. The jacket. Tell me what you need to do is let's just see it again with a much skinnier trouser. Claudia, come on out. Could we do this coat? Do we like the coat? There's elements I think that are great about the coat. Mm -hmm but we're not finding its heart. So I want to dump the coat, dump the silver, dump the jean, and move on. All right, I want to just get in something where I go, I found a part of you and I haven't found it yet. Yeah. And before I get, like, I need to get there. Okay, come on. I'm not looking at outfits right now. I want Claudia to come out and I'm looking at different things together. So I'm throwing things on that you might think don't go well together, but it's giving me an idea all at once. Like, can she do a wide leg pant? Does it need to be full length or can it be cropped? Can she do a coat? Should it be a round neck or should it be a deep V? And there's a contradiction with Claudia because she loves androgyny, which is not about showing off your waist. And there's a part of her that wants to show off her shape. So still working progress. Okay, this is Claudia in her summer trend that she chose, that suit, and I love the shape of what she chose. So, just give me that sense in the mirror, what you see when you look at it. I love yeah. a cohort, basically. Yeah. I was drawn to it because it's sort of like denim-y. The jacket's quite nice and oversized, actually. It's a little bit fitted for you because I think this is a look which oversizes better. Yes. I think the silhouette's great. I think the colour washes you out so much. Yeah, I'm going to it my redness. Yeah, it just it's like, it's not, do, it's not bringing life and joy. You have that knowledge inside your head. You yeah. have that eye. So it's just, we need to just refine it for you. Yeah. All right, so let's refine it in a different type of cohort. Come on, darling. Okay, cool. What do you think of the colour? Good. Yeah, it's so much better. Yeah. So I think we just want to just do some little adjustments of a, how, what a blazer is. And then I want to look at what we're doing around the bottom and I'm going to try this and see if it works on you, but give me a foot, like you're a horse being shod. Thank you, okay, if this goes through. Okay, that's good. And we're just going to do one in one foot one way and one the other, put your foot down. There's a thing here about lengths and about how something is cool or not cool. Yeah. All right, so to me, this is classic. But that's like a little bit something different. I always do this, like, like that, like really rough it up <laughs> and then hands in pockets. All right, so now you're kind of owning the suit. Yeah. You need to own the suit. Do we want to do this kind of hairline like that? Totally different person with your hair like that. With me, come on, come on, come on. Okay, come here. Because you and I are tall. Yeah. So when we wear jackets like this, like that. Look at this. We need something for our long orangutan arm. And by having that, it gives something to my jacket like that. I'm liking the cohorts. Yeah. I'm not I'm not hot on this. You're not hot on the t-shirt. No. Why? I'm not sure I don't I'm not sure I like it. I think it's sort of Okay, show me in the mirror. What are you feeling? I just don't feel that it's right for the outfit for me. Personally. Yeah. And what I'm forgetting is you're bloody 22. But if we had like that, yeah. then now I'm understanding exactly what you mean. So like that. Yeah, it was sort of too much. Yeah, like, yes. I like this is like, God, I'm learning from you. <laughs> High five. This is the first outfit where I felt we found what's you already. You show me something and yeah. I've shown you something. Hi. Yeah. I mean, looking at how you walked in, that was like, yeah? Yeah. You like sexy, don't you? I do. You know? Leopard is a neutral. This is something that you know, a lot of people think is it's seasonal, but it's a neutral and you can wear it all year round, summer yeah. and winter. And as a cohort, I think there's no better cohort than a leopard cohort. It's going in the shopping bag, but I don't know if it's the final outfit. I have yet to find the final outfit. Ah! I don't know if I want to put her in black, you see. So this is not right. Okay, but hold on, let me just now go back to where... I just don't know, yes. but funny enough, Claudia's suit's black, and I've got this black and gold moment going on, which feels cool, the silhouette is cool, everything is cool. But I'm thinking, oh, it's black. But it looks good. What am I gonna do? So, it was a whirlwind, how are you feeling? I'm feeling, yeah, I feel it was a whirlwind. I'm feeling okay, I'm good. Okay, let's go and do her makeup. 
in the beauty studio looking at skincare routine. So first of all, I want you to look in this mirror mm -hmm. and just think, what do you see? I see redness, mm -hmm. quite red. Not a lot of brightness, mm -hmm. a little bit. Like not, there isn't a reflection, there's dullness. There's it's oiliness, but no reflection. Yeah. yeah. I do see my under eye bags as well. When you wake up and get out of bed, mm -hmm. what do you do with your face? So I put a bit of mist of cleansing water on it with yeah. like little cotton pads, mm -hmm. and then a bit of eye cream and a bit of lip balm. When you come home at night, what do you do? I just take it off with cleanser, like cleanse what my skin. Cleanser? Same as the morning mist of cleansing water. So Mincellia water is not going to get them off. Okay. So you need a gel cleanser with a bit of BHA. So I'm going to say better off because that has them in it. Then you need a little exfoliation. So continuing with a BHA. In the morning, you can then just go to a nice moisturizer, Energize Me, niacinamide in it. At night, all you do is you just add in a retinoid, which is full of niacinamide. So it's really helpful to keep your skin under control, especially good just before a period when you feel like five days before your skin starts to misbehave. Is that simple enough for you? Absolutely, yeah. Great. Are you ready now for cool makeup with John? I'm yeah. so excited. All right, yeah. darling, let's do that. I was trying to think of an easier way for you to do your makeup every day. So I was thinking maybe just finding one product that we can use three different ways. Mm -hmm. Something for your lips, cheeks, eyes, really quick, out the door. Fast, fast, yeah? Yeah. How does that sound? Good to me, yeah. Okay, cool. So this is lip to cheek in shade Shasha. So I'm gonna start off first with the cheeks. Basically use as if it's highlighter. And I just tap a little bit with my finger and then I use my thumb to blend. Okay, so my second tip is to make sure that you apply just a little bit more onto the lid. And always remember to use one finger for product and then I swap the finger then to blend. And then the last bit then, which is the third tip, is just to tap onto the lip. So what you don't want to do is take the brow downwards, because that's bringing everything down. So it's all about making sure everything is lifted and brushed up. So I like to start from the inner part of the brow, and I just work my way across. So if you are somebody that doesn't like to pencil your brows on using pencils, this is a great one. And that is my extra tip. Okay, you ready to see? I'm ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. What do you think of the color? The color, I think it really matches my complexion really nicely. I think it's it, subtle. yeah, it sits really nice with your hair, the yeah. skin color, and your eye color too. Absolutely, it's really nice. But it's color. something really summery about it too. You can wear this during the day and probably take it into the evening too. And it's really brightened my face, mm. I feel. Lovely, thank you. How long since you've cut your hair? About a year now. How long since you've coloured your hair? Three years, two so years. So like, no colour left in it. This is you, isn't this it? This is completely this is me. you, yeah. all right. What do you imagine you want? I'd like something a little bit shorter, something to frame my face, mm -hmm. and a nice bit of colour. So how do we do that with colour? So I think a balayage will be best, yeah. because it's low maintenance, and it will just give you that beachy, just like soft, natural movement colour. Yeah. Sophie, how do we give a cut that gives volume? Yeah, great. So we're just going to bring the baseline up a little bit, mm -hmm. make that a little bit thicker, push some of the weight up and push some of the weight forward, and then some nice face framing around the cheekbones. Fabulous. Have a good time. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Words to describe Claudia is uh, shiny, sun no shiny. Fun, um, energetic. It's quite eccentric, maybe. Sunshine, bright. Sometimes I catch her in the morning looking through my drawers trying to find something <laughs> to wear. Wow. I feel like the way she carries herself isn't really representative of her personality. I was wondering how she would balance the free spirit nature that Claudia has and with something a little bit more grown up. Well, I want some of the shirts that she's stolen from me back, maybe. <laughs> I like my style at the moment. You know, it's comfortable, it's quite fun, but I do feel that it's not necessarily great for the workplace. I sort of look like I'm in my pyjamas all the time. Don't look yet, don't look yet. And we'll tell you when to look. <laughs> Claudia, come on out. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> Hello. Wow. That eye makeup is wicked. 
And seeing yourself with this much colour and... It's just vibrant, it's exciting and it's more kind of hot and like less slouchy. Yeah, it's wicked. Love I love the colour, I love the hair, the, the, this pink is just what I would... Well, yes, I can I see that. Love that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Are you the person we met this morning and that person was inside but not showing off on the outside. You know, it's up to your family and friends to kind of remind you when you're kind of in that slouch of thinking, actually, there's so many other things I could do and be. Mm -hmm. And who do I want to project today? This is a girl we want to meet and we want yeah. to get to know and you're like confident and all those things that sometimes we don't feel every day, but this can give us that. Thank you so much. I loved it. Did we achieve the challenge, which was to introduce our fashion virgin Claudia to another way to look at how she gets dressed and presents herself to the world? And I've got to say, I loved the result. I thought John's makeup was inspired. And for somebody like Claudia, who's 22, makeup and hair is everything that they'll look at first. And it was so crucial that she would feel it was cool. So that was a big um, tick from Josh Wood and John. And I think for the outfit, it was about things she'd wear as three separate pieces. It would give her inspiration. And I think the day gave her tips and tricks. Claudia's a really smart girl, and I know that she's got those all in her head, and whenever she goes out again and shops again, she will have this knowledge to take with her and to be able to leave fashionable wardrobe. See you on the next episode. catch you sometimes in the morning stealing stuff from my room yeah. to wear. Well, this is a bit of a compliment to you, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's, 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 it's not the way we're going to move forward. Are we going to move forward this way? Are you going to commit to me that you'll never up. steal your brother's t-shirts again? I, I promise. Live never. on camera. Never <laughs> steal your brother's t-shirts again.